Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, for those of you who are new, welcome, and returning folks, welcome back. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down even more um, my style, art style, and showing you guys how I draw different parts of the human facial structure. There's, this is one of five videos, by the way, of the different parts of the face we're going to be focusing on, um, so stay tuned for that. I don't want to keep you waiting any longer so i will try and put the pictures of uh, my reference pictures up here um as well um i don't know whether to zoom it in i don't want it to be too grainy um so we're going to be using reference pictures off of pinterest because pinterest is the best um i'm going to try and do some at different angles but the most of them is to regarding shape so i'm going to draw them quite big so you can see right so how i start drawing them is i just start by looking at the outline and drawing the outline exactly how i see it if you are confused why i'm drawing <laughs> starting to draw the eyebrow like this watch my previous video that shows you i show you how i draw faces and why i draw it like that and you get to see that process even more so that took me less than 30 seconds and i didn't even like focus in too tough um, I've got to write the date. And then I just start by adding the stray lines that I see. Sometimes I like to leave like an a exaggerated gap between some of them. And then I like to colour obviously in the direction of the eyebrow hairs. Even if they go opposite, I'll show you what I mean. Make sure you do nice long strokes like so. Um, when I do that, I, I try to do it hard like this because... One, so I can see the shape, and two, it just separates the outside from the inside, as I talked about in my previous video. From up here, the direction of the hair changes, only slightly though, so I want to get that in. So I'm going to add stray hairs at the top, like that. When there's less hair, I actually like to add it outside a little bit, and then rub out the areas where there's less hair. And then just add the lines like that, just to give it that realistic, obviously, eyebrow look. It goes down straight, so we're going to stop like that. And then I like to go in a little bit more. Kind of, and as you can. so that's the first eyebrow. And then you have straight hairs like that. You can do that if you want to uh, as well. Um, and then I'll just add the crease line so you know. <laughs> right, okay. So that's the first eyebrow. Uh, right, first eyebrow, that took, what, three minutes? Right, on to the next eyebrows. My favourite thing to do is do sharp eyebrows. So we're going to try and find a sharp one. Again, I'm going to just do the outline. And it's good to practice doing eyebrows in different directions as well, so you don't get comfortable drawing in one direction. Um, and then we're going to go and do a 3.1 after. I don't want this to be a long video either, that's why I'm kind of going quick. Done with that shape. And then we're going to go in with the stray hairs, like I said before. Her eyebrows are quite... Actually, I want to add that little dip in, I see. It's quite cool. And then I'm going to add in the dark line. Her eyebrow hair is actually not that... It's quite... They're quite even in terms of, like... There's not, a much, there's not as much hair gap as the first one. If that makes sense, that should make sense. <laughs> right, so... Um, carry on with that. And then... I like to then add the hair direction. Now hers is again pretty even. Sorry, that is my fan. Oh my days, that's so loud. Be quiet. <laughs> then carry on, continue with that. Um, the tighter you obviously um, hold the pencil, the more accurate you get the space inside the lines it's not the end of the world if you go outside the line yeah just have fun with it as well i really just enjoy drawing faces i didn't realize how much i liked drawing faces until i just that was the only thing i was drawing so when there's less hair at the front you can color lighter or rub some of it out but i tend to go darker like this when there's more hair and their eyebrows you can do them neat messy which is why i like drawing them like so and and her um, lid line is quite low down so this is eye number one <laughs> eye number two and we've got two more and then this is the video done um 
So now that we've done two female ones, we're going to do two male ones. Let's do this three quarter one. Oh, and it's got a gap in it. Right, that's good. So I'll show you what I do when there's a gap in the eyebrow, which is, I find it so fun. So this is eye number three, and this is three quarter turn. So the face is facing this way, meaning the eyebrow is kind of foreshortened. Again, start off with the basic shape that you see. I see dip in there like that and then it kind of stops here there's a line like that underneath and then it stops just like that under here and it ends right here right and then that's the gap for that eyebrow right and then we're going to add the rest of the eyebrow the gap is so slight though but it's just the separation of hair he doesn't have a slit or anything but when um people do have slits in their eyebrows i like to just leave a clean gap right so next his eyebrows are going a little bit mad so <laughs> in the nicest way possible <laughs> don't forget to darken the outside now next you obviously do the direction now i said his eyebrows are a little bit messy so when eyebrow hair directions kind of do swoops and hills and valleys <laughs> like this one um you kind of just want to draw draw it like grass so you know when grass is like stick grass out like in different directions like that kind of do the same with the eyebrows in the same di in this in the same direction it's kind of hard to explain um verbally if i show you the picture here then you'll get it i still try and keep my sharp kind of lines going on but it is kind of tricky because his hair is literally going everywhere right and then you can add little like what's it called zigzag or i like to add little zigzags and rough lining lines like this because that's what that's what i see and that's what their eyebrows are like and then this side is going horizontal for some reason Again, little strands at the beginning which I did forget sorry <laughs> right okay what else uh this edge bit here it's kind of all over the place I like to add lines that go down as well like this which is kind of nice because then it gives back the direction of the where the hair is going his eyebrows are pretty dark and guys eyebrows are normally thick as well so kind of helps oh and i also like to shade it in all the way if that makes sense so i try and because this one's all over the place i'm going to actually color it in shade it in a little bit like this so there's no like white bits if that makes sense but very lightly so the direction of the hair is not confused or lost in lost in translation or lost in looking at it very very light and i'm just tilting the pencil down and holding it at the bottom and the darker areas, I just like to kind of press down hard on my pencil. And again, I don't want to lose the shape, the outline. So I will go back and draw a little bit harder with my pencil. We'll get the gap in. Perfect. Right. Oh, I wanted to show you actually when eyebrow ends don't go down. So I'll give you an example. Let me just move this up if I can when this part doesn't go downwards like that. So I'll give you a perfect example. Just go in again. Now her eyebrow is literally six lines, right? I'll show you what I mean. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's literally <laughs> her eyebrow. Right, and then add in the straight lines like we did before. And then because all you can see, right, is some of her hair actually sticks up at this point so i like that i'm gonna add that in and then we go in and add the, the lines it's funny my technique for drawing eyebrows is different for each one it's because i'm drawing them singularly they're um the same but when i'm drawing a whole face it's literally different every time <laughs> and then from this bit it's basically solid all the way it's okay if you color outside the lines the hair kind of changes and goes this way but it's all solid and then even if you can add straight lines if you want to hold on and then you got go add in the background again sometimes there is like a skin gap but most of the time it's pretty solid and i go in a little bit harder with the pencil 
and go the direction of the eyebrows this one is literally just colored in her um, eyebrows are actually really sorry really clean underneath so rub it out as close to the line as possible and then redraw the lines oh, i'm gonna actually rub this out a little bit and then add straight lines and then the whole outline itself yeah try to have a consistent line guys because it's good to have a sharp sharp pencil as well okay and then her lid line is quite shallow it's pretty straight as well right yeah that's her lid line so there you have it everybody um i was trying to make that a short video um i hope you guys enjoyed that thank you for watching um be sure to subscribe if you like what you see um stay tuned for the next video we're going to be going on to the eyes yeah and uh i'll see you guys in the next one bye